My dad actually died on his birthday with the rosary in his hand. Originally, they were thinking about sending the ashes back like UPS or whatever it might be. And I said, no, we're going to come out to get belongings and ashes. And as we were coming back from Wyoming, we saw a sign saying, visit Fatima Family Shrine. The story of Fatima is when Mary appeared to three little children in Fatima, Portugal. What Mary's wish was is to pray the rosary, love one another, and bring peace to the world. So when I drove in, I just, I, I don't know, I had a different picture, I guess, in my mind. And it's so beautiful, but it could be more, you know. The first things out of her mouth and my mouth were almost simultaneously was, it looks like that place could use a little hardware store cleanup or something. Our shrine had been neglected, not because nobody cared about it, it's just lack of funds. The walls were collapsing up in the bell tower. The basement flooded, so we had to tear the walls, gut all the walls out, tear the carpet out, and so it's been a big deal for our little church. I totally believe it was divine intervention. The good Lord said, we need to clean this up a little bit, and all of a sudden here come Dan and Betty. So we set up a day on a Saturday, we met with Joe. We started walking and looking at things and I said, I made notes of myself. I took pictures of all this stuff that I could help him with. You know, as an Ace Hardware, we can do so much. We had all these ideas and I was like, well, yeah, that sounds great, but how are, how are we gonna pay for this? And then all of a sudden find out, well, we're just gonna send this all down. They not only said, we're gonna come help you, but they also gave us a check. So Alexandria is exactly six hours and three minutes from our store here. Every time we needed stuff, I had, we jumped in the truck, drove it down to them, said, here you go, what else do you need? Our grass was in tough shape. Um, we had a lot of shrubs that needed to come out and do curbing edge and new benches. There was a calling to, to do something and then it became a mission. The lighting on the shrine was obsolete and broken. I go, okay, if I get you some lights, do you know how to stall them? He goes, no but I know a guy. Oh, at times, there was probably, you know, close to 30 people working on projects. They done more than they realized. They, yeah, they contributed physically and they gave us money, but they, they also united our parish back together. I think we just gave a little spark to a flame that was already there, just needed fanning. Our favorite time is to come out and sit on the benches at night with the lights shining on the, the shrine. It's just so peaceful and just a great place for people to come once again. The light shine on Mary, is, it's unreal. I've received so much more from them than I will ever be able to get. Just, it's a beautiful parish. Well, I, I just think it's incredible for a business and Dan and Betty, they're so far away that they would get this involved in our little community. And your community is your family. ACE is a family-orientated environment. And I'm not gonna even say business, it's an environment that is, is built that way. And families always give to others and, and help others out. They said they're gonna adopt the shrine and I believe they did that for us. My sister told me on the nth hour of his life that my dad was very proud of me as a son. And I think that this would just probably add to it.